So you clicked on today's video to find the best center build in the game. Now you're probably really confused with the new My Player Builder system and the new archetype system in NBA 2K20. You're not sure whether you should make this build, that build, whether you should be able to shoot, go inside build. Well, don't fear no more because all you have to do is watch this video. I will be showing you the best center build in the game. He not only can he shoot, drive, defend, score at will, he can do everything you would want in a center. And I'm about to show you step by step exactly how to create the best center build in the entire game before it even comes out. Now let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I'm hosting a $25 Xbox slash PSN gift card giveaway. So all you have to do is one, subscribe to the channel if you're new, two, drop a like on this video, three, turn on post notifications, and four, comment in the comment section, double or nothing. I will be picking a winner as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers. Now let's get straight into the video. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka WHDF. Back in the building with yet another banger. And in today's video, if you can't already tell by the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be showing you guys the best center build in the game. So if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get this 10,000 subs. And make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you see every time I upload another banger like this one. So as you see, here are the pie charts. Now you're going to want to go with the shooting and the defense and rebounding ones. Where it's half red, half green, and then you know, a little blue and a little yellow right um because at a, when you're a center on the twos and the threes what do you want to do you want to spread the floor but you also want to set them big bodies and you want to have strength right so when it comes to the physical profile you want one of the two highest strengths so it's either speed or, or vertical i picked vertical because i want to get these rebounds i want to jump on the air and snag on these guys right and then when it comes to stats you want to first you know you get 409 upgrades right now you're going to go through and pick what are some musts that's what you want to do first so what I did, the first thing I did was max all my shooting out. I want to be a good shooter, plus I want to get on as many shooting badges as possible with this build. Because if I, even though I only have a 73, if I get Hall of Fame shooting badges, you know, I'm going to be shooting like a stretch, basically. Now when it comes to playmaking, I want to get quick first step on gold, because that triggers blow-by animations, and that's huge catching off of a wing and just going right by somebody, especially with a center build, right? So I need at least three playmaking badges to get that badge. So I maxed out post moves, which is huge. Post moves makes you do post fadeaways faster, post hooks faster, a bunch of post moves just way faster and cleaner. And I tested out what I needed, you know, the least amount of attributes I could use to get this three. And what you want to do is just not upgrade ball handling at all and upgrade pass accuracy. Interior defense a must, perimeter defense a must when switching on guards, lateral quickness a must, a must to get in lanes, block a must, you gotta protect the paint, and rebounding obviously, you gotta rebound the ball, right? So max out all that stuff, we have 8 upgrades left, and I decided to adjust the finishing a little bit, so if I'm getting blow by animations, I need driving layup and driving dunk to be maxed of course. So what I'm gonna do is max out the driving layup, max out the driving dunk, and you know maybe lower the standing dunk a little bit you know maybe lower the steal a little bit actually because i'm not gonna be stealing the ball or really going for steals much unless it's in the lane right so maxed out the driving dunk maxed out the driving layup and then put the rest of the eight attributes i had left to standing dunk now we have the attributes done with this build i can shoot I can drive, I can get blow by animations, I can control the ball correctly as a big man, and I have defense. Now when it comes to body shape, the body shape does not affect gameplay, so you obviously want to go with Burley because Burley's the biggest. You're the biggest on, that's the biggest body shape, you look huge. Now height, you can go 7 foot or 7 3, I'm going to go 7 foot because look at how, look at the difference in speed, oh my god, perimeter defense and lateral quickness is crucified when you go to 7 3. 7 foot, perfect height, when it comes to length, or I just said, what am I saying, bro? When it comes to weight, you want to have max. Look at the strength, 95. 2K17 screens are back. I'm going to be setting big bodies, knock, knocking people to the floor, man. And um, that's huge. It doesn't even affect my speed at all. Like I'm definitely going max weight, of course. I'm going to be able to hold my box out. I'm going to be a big body. Oh, my God. This build is crazy, y'all. Wingspan, I went one below max because, you know, I didn't want to have a 68.3. 
and I didn't really want to have a 73 with no wingspan, so I went in the middle, got a 69 three-pointer with one below max wingspan, and have like a 91 block. Takeover, oh my god, I get rim takeover on this build? This is not fair, y'all. So not only can I rebound the ball very well, not only can I knock people over with screens, not only can I shoot the ball with a bunch of shooting badges, not only do I get blow-by animations, but I get rim takeover? Now this build's called a glass cling lockdown. I don't know, the way they name these builds is, does not make any sense, to be honest. I'm compared to Joel MB, which is perfect. That's someone I want to be. A defender that can shoot the ball and control the ball as a, you know, pretty well as a big man. And, you know, do his thing. So now, we're going to go into the badges. So, what I did, um, I tested my player at 99 overall, of course. Because I think the My Player Builders on Hall of Fame difficulty, Superstar, something like that. But look at this. Um, let's go through all the badges I got, right? So look at all the shooting badges and you know, 17 shooting, 22 defense rebound, 3 playing, and 1 finishing. So when it came to finishing, I got contact finisher on bronze. Uh, and then when it came to shooting, oh my god, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, Hall of Fame range extender, gold deep range that I gold deep fades, and gold pick and popper. Deep fades is going to be huge with the post fadeaways too. Then I got gold quick first step for blow by animations. And then I got gold box out, gold brick wall. Um, gold Intimidate, which is basically defensive stopper, gold rim protector, gold post move lockdown, and gold worm. Oh my god, this build is godlike, y'all. This build can do everything. Little, name something this build cannot do. Look at me shooting over heads, y'all, on this difficulty over Draymond Green. This is crazy, y'all. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if this build helped you out at all, I know some of y'all are really lost with the new build system. I want to be uploading more videos on stretch bigs speed boosting builds you know how all the takeovers work triple moves jump shots all that all the demos out so make sure you guys turn on notifications subscribe to the channel if you're new drop a like on the video and anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h df and i'm out of here man peace i ain't never had no friends i was all alone she ain't never called my phone she left me on my own they say all girls are the same brother than my dog she said can you stay with me now i got a diamond dripping off my